Welcome to Electro Online. Here we're going to look at a different kind of chain rule. In the case that the function of two variables can be set equal to zero, here's an example, x cubed plus y squared x minus 10 equals zero, then we can say that the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the negative of the partial derivative of the function with respect to x divided by the de partial derivative of the function with respect to y. So let's go ahead and try that with our example here. We're going to first find the partial derivative of the function with respect to x. That is going to be equal to 3x squared plus, here x is the variable, y is the constant, so we get y squared, and that derivative of that would be equal to, uh, would be equal to zero. Now we take the partial derivative of f with respect to y, that's going to be 0 here, and here we get 2x times y, and the derivative of that is also 0. Now we can say that dy dx, which is equal to the negative of the partial of f with respect to x, divided by the partial of the function with respect to y, which is equal to the negative of this quantity right here, which is 3x squared plus y squared, divided by this quantity here, 2x times y. To see if we're correct with this, to see if that we can indeed do that, let's go ahead and try to find the derivative of this implicitly. What we're going to do is take our example, x cubed plus y squared x minus 10 equals 0, and we're going to take the d dx of both sides of the equation the d dx of the left side must equal the d dx of the right side, the derivative with respect to x. So when we do that, here we get 3x squared plus, here we have a product rule because we're not taking the partial derivative but the actual derivative, so we take the first times the derivative of the second, which is 1, plus the second times the derivative of the first, which is 2y times dy dx, the derivative of that is 0, and that equals the derivative of that, which is also 0. Now we can solve this equation for dy dx, and we should get the same result as we have over there. Let's try that. So first of all, we're going to move this to the other side. That gives us 2xy times dy dx is equal to moving this to the right side becomes a minus 3x, oop, I should say, be careful here, a minus quantity 3x squared plus y squared, and now if we divide both sides by 2xy, we move this over here, we get 2xy, we then should get the exact same result as we got over here. And take a look, and it looks like it's exactly the same. So that shows that this method does indeed work. Again, if we can set the function of multiple variables equal to zero, then the y dx can be written as the negative of the partial derivative of the function with respect to x divided by the partial of the function with respect to y. That's how that works.